What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hello, folks. How you doing today? And uh, today we're going to talk about a subject that uh, a lot of <coughs> people... <coughs> excuse me. A lot of people... This is, a, this is a touchy situation for a lot of men and women because they don't want to go through this yet. You're going through this yet. You say you don't, but you are. So there's kind of a lot of lying on both sides, either or. Today we're going to talk about child support as far as what we don't like. As far as a male perspective, as far as like um, some myths. Like a big myth. There's a big myth that a lot of guys do not want to pay child support. And this is far beyond the truth. Now, a lot of guys are simps and cucks. And they'll suck up the women and tell them anything and try to get laid by them. And the fact of the matter is, there's a lot of situations. And even women know what I'm talking about because women have been through this. My, I'll, I'll, I'll list myself, and I know there are guys that agree with me, so I can say I'll just talk about my feelings. I... Didn't want the government. It's not about hey, the money is not no issue for me. Whatever I was decided to pay, I, I'll pay it. If I had to work five jobs, I have to do what I have to do to keep my clothes on my kids. But that wasn't the case. I, when I, whenever what happened was, I you know I said hey look, don't if you don't. I said my point was, I mean there's certain times where you have to go to government like the kids and all that with the hospitals and all that. As far as naming and, and parental rights, I understand that. But as far as my business, <coughs> excuse me, as far as my money, I understand taxes. But as far as when I start, you start good, taking that on my paycheck, and the government knows this and that, I mean, the government can do a lot of stuff to you. And I just don't like that. That's the part where we don't like. It's not that we don't want to pay child support. We don't want the government and our business to go ahead to deal with our kids. Because child support is nothing but a racket. If you if if you've been through it, you know it's a racket. A lot of guys that especially that have never been through it will talk about well a lot of you men just don't want to pay you know child support yada yada this that and the third. Well, that's not it. What it is is we don't want the government. We want an amicable way, amicable way where the government isn't involved. I don't want the government in my shit. No, I, I want as less government as I can have in my business. That's it. I'm not trying to duck no child support payment. I'm not trying to duck my responsibility. I'm not trying to duck what I have to do. I just don't want the government in my business. I mean, what, what, what's, too, what's, what's bad about that? But a lot of these guys, like I said, a lot of these... <coughs> excuse me. Pizza went down the wrong way. But a lot of these guys that don't know the system or haven't been through the system are, are going to tell these women this... So don't so they're trying to get laid. Number one, I mean that's let's just face facts. And number two is they're ignorant. They don't have any kids. Most of these guys talking this crazy stuff, anyways. But here's here's the thing that these guys don't understand. A lot of guys that are in my position. Here's what I did. I said, well, if you go if you go to the government on me, you're getting what the government says. Now, I was more than, I was more than lucky enough that I know a lot of women. I know a lot of women went through the child support system, so I was ahead on everything. A lot of women hit me to the game. A lot of women said, here's what she's going to do, and they let it, and, and, and no offense, it was laid down perfect. Whatever, she, whatever move was going to happen, they would tell me, I mean, this is like, they, like they all have ESP. They all do this. That's all it is. They all do the same thing. And then, like, they say she's going to do X, she's going to do Y, she's going to do Z. And Lord, Lord forbid... She did X, Y, Z. So I was ahead on all accounts. I technically didn't need a lawyer. I mean, I, the chicks were, I mean, and I might make a video about for some of you guys how I did it. But you, I didn't technically need a lawyer, and I still was ahead of the game. But uh, my, my thing was, I said, if, if you put the government involved, it is what they say. Now, if that's more than, more than what I'm giving you right now, I got to deal with it. But if it's less than what I'm giving you, you got to deal with it. So you have to roll the dice. Well, somebody rolled snake eyes and it wasn't me. They, The court said I had to give her less than what I was giving her. 
And then here's another problem. And I didn't mind that. I, you know I didn't mind that. And here's another thing. I was in arrears, not through any fault of my own. I was in arrears through a mistake that she caused. She never told him. And so when we got in there, uh, we, 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 were, we were cool before all this child support BS started. We were like, hey, look, man, you need, I told her, I said, I'm paying off the arrears right now. You need to, I said, I'll pay off the months that I was behind. I said, I wasn't behind because it was your fault. I said, I'm going to help get myself caught up. I said, you need to tell the child support people that this, this wasn't my fault I'm behind on the arrears. This is your fault. You know, I, and then we went in there, and uh, they were like, well, any, any, any other issues? And I'm looking at her, and like, hey, look. Speak up. I'm looking at it. I'm not saying. I'm like, you know, you get me like, hey, you make a deal, and all of a sudden, the motherfuckers are backing out. You're like, what the fuck? No, no. Nah. Do you guys have any deals or anything? This is what the child support person said. Are there any deals that you guys have? And I'm looking at her like, you need to speak the fuck up. She laid quiet on me. She laid an egg on me. And then they said I was in the for six months. Like I said, it wasn't my fault I was in the rears, but got away. And uh, she she said I was, they said I was in the rears. I knew I was in the rears. Because we, we've had this discussion. I said, if she went to court, and a lot of chicks told me they're going to get you for all that back pay. And I said, okay, I know that. And I said, well, I worked out a deal where I was going to give her the money. And I said, I'll go through this. Well, the money was a gift because I gave him a receipt. Number two, we she told him we didn't have no deal. So right then and there, and I was like, back in my mind, fuck you anyway. And, uh, and after that, I started showing my ass off in like the little court proceeding. And I shouldn't have. I mean, that was my fault. You know, I, 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 I was like... Because what happened was, all these judges think you're a deadbeat. They don't know the, they don't know the situation. They just know that, hey, they, don't, they know that you owe. So they feel they wear, because they wear that fucking robe. They can, they can look high off the mountain and say, oh, you're just another deadbeat dad. No, that's not the case. Number one, I didn't know I had a son. So for six months, I didn't know. So you multiply that child support per month. And these chick, the chicks told me that like, hey, if you just because you didn't know doesn't mean like they won't try to get they won't get you for it. I said they said and this is this is the truth. They said it's up to her to dismiss those arrears, known as given the situation that you were in. They said she can dismiss those arrears if she wanted to, but they, the one chick told me she's gonna be a bitch and she won't do it. And what happened? I'm just telling you what the chicks told me. It happened. So she could have did that. But due to her, whatever it means, it didn't happen. So I was automatically tagged with warrants, with, with warrants, really, seriously. Like, with, with warrants for arrest. And I was, at the time, was living, I'm living where I'm living now. And I had, you know, what happened was I got laid off, and then I had a kid, so I was like, look, man, I need a job. Unemployment ain't, you know, if you've ever been on unemployment and paying child support, you know you can't fucking live off that. So I was like, I need a job with the quickness. So I got laid off. I was on the point for like three months. And this was, this was back when people were laid off for five years, whatever, so and so. So I got laid off, and I, got, I was blessed to have another job right then. So they were like, well, uh, when are you coming back home to settle this? I said, well, if I come home, you're going to arrest me and put me in jail. And I'm going to lose my job so I can't pay you child support, right? They go, pretty much. I said, that'll put me more further behind, right? Pretty much. I said, so if I can't pay you, and I'm arrested, and I'm getting more arrears, but I'm paying you now, what sense does that make? I mean, and, and like, I talked to them, because like, I tried to straighten this shit out. The sheriff agreed with me 100%. He goes, we know, that, he goes, but this is the law. They said, unless you two work something out, and, and this is true, unless you two work something out, we have to go what we have to go by. I was like, all right. So for three years, because, like I said, I was aggressively paying that, I was aggressively paying that on uh, rearages. I was, I was being aggressive. But once once she wouldn't pull the warrant, and once she wouldn't do whatever, then I said, well, I, I, I went to the court. and went, you know, I didn't file a position. I just like an addendum or whatever to my agreement. I just said, hey, look, can I pay this month plus this month for arrearages? They were cool with it because I was paying way more in arrearages. And I was like, no, look, man, I ain't killing myself if I'm going to get arrested. Fuck that. So, what happened was, well, first, let me tell you something. Where I was at, they were, if, say if I got a, if say I had, I had a warrant, I had a warrant like two, three years. Say if I got picked up here where I'm at right now, they weren't coming to get me unless I had bodies on me or I was some major drug dealer. Depending on who you listen to. 
But anyway, the fact of the matter remains, they weren't coming to get me unless I fit like the, that, like I was a high profile like criminal, something like that. They even told me. I said, "Well, what if I get arrested?" I said, "What if I get arrested out here?" They said, "We'll, we'll have a warrant for you, but we're not gonna come to get you." So I, I made to make it clear I couldn't get in trouble out here, really. So I was, I laid low for three years. I laid low. People messed with me for three years, and I said, "Look, man, I, uh, like I said, if I got arrested, I had to go back home, lose my job, lose everything back here, and I had to start from the bottom. So I had to suck my pride up." And I had to look at myself and say, hey, look, man, this this, this, this thing was cracking. So I had to eat my pride. And a lot of people got away with stuff, talking shit, this and that. And I was like, hey, whatever, man. I'm doing this for my kids. So fast forward today where I'm close to, right now I'm close to ending the process. And uh, what, what I've learned is, like, a lot of people don't understand it. Like I just said, the judges think you're a deadbeat. But, well, no, like, there are deadbeats. Don't get me wrong. Let, let, let me be 100% perfectly clear. There are deadbeat dads who just say, fuck it and don't want to pay. But there's more often than not, it's like the guy is in the rearages, the guy may not know he's the father, the guy may be losing his job, there may, and there's that. But a lot of guys don't want to go back to court, but they don't, wanna, they don't know how to do the process, so they can't, they don't do it. So they go and they go into court, come on with some BS, and where they can just, well, like they should have done like I, like if you're in the rearages, pay your child support, now, I don't care if you offer to pay five bucks a month in arrearages. They have to take that. They can't refuse your money. And now there's a, a law where Obama signed where they have to work with you. And if they throw you in jail, they can't take. They can't consider that you where you can work. They can't. They can't take child support off of you. So a lot of guys, a lot of guys might go for that route now. That's all you're doing as far as some of you ladies. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, like I said, as far as child support goes, I am not mad whatsoever. I have to pay. I know my responsibilities. I know what my, 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 parents, my parents' parents took care of them, and my parents' 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 parents took care of them, and so forth and so forth. I know my responsibilities. It's the fact that I don't want the government in my bullshit. And a lot of you guys come out here sucking up to these chicks, talking about, oh, they just don't want to take care of the kid. It's not that. You got guys. You got guys having four jobs, four part-time jobs paying child support and still struggling. It's not the fact that they don't want to pay for their kids. It's the fact they don't want the government involved. Don't you think it'd be a little easier? And it's, it's, don't you think it'd be a little easier if they make an arrangement and they can stick to it with both, both people? Because, like I said, it's one or two, one or both of them are going to be salty in the end of the process going to the government. Me, she was salty at me, and I was definitely fucking salty she went to the government. That's how I looked at it as. Now, do, do we speak to this day? Fuck no. I got no word. I got no rap. I talk to my son if I need something. Or, he, or my son goes through my mom and my mom calls me and says, hey, the so-and-so needs this. I'm like, I got it. And I'm still paying. So don't think that, like, that I'm not still paying. I still get money. Christmas came. I gave money. This came. I gave money. So-and-so needs this. I gave money. And this is, this is considered quote-unquote gifts. So don't act like a lot of guys don't want to pay support. It's nothing that has to do with it. A lot of guys will pay support. They just don't want the government in their fucking business. And a lot of you people don't understand that because you don't know why? Because a lot of you will put the government in your business. And what gets me about black folks is you got these fucking bitches that are rant and rave about white people. When it comes to child support, take them to the white man. Peace.